Hi guys. Um, fucking hell with you. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to lose the light here a bit, so I'm going to get the last review done for tonight. This is a beer that was sent to me by Johan from Germany, and um, it's from the Evil Twin Brewing Company from Denmark. It's the first time I've ever tried a beer from them. Um, I've seen Rob from Hopzine recently review this, and he went absolutely nuts over it. So I'm so excited to try it. It's uh, an Imperial Stout, comes in at 12%, and it's the Evil Twins, even more Jesus. So there you go. Um, see if I can get you a bit of info on this. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It just says it's quite a bit of bump on it. A few times in the history of craft beer, it has happened that a highly praised beer rises beyond mortal stardom into a highly godly league. Usually, the recipe to make such heavenly drops is thick, fudge-like body, pitch black colour, amazingly overwhelming aromas of chocolate. Right. Okay, it's loads of taste notes and stuff like that. I'm not going to read that because I like to just do it there and then. But, judging by Rob's reaction, uh, if you've seen Rob's videos, hop zine, I'll stick a link in the description box. He's one of those guys who doesn't go too mental over beers. He's quite sedate, you know. And um, so when he does get excited over a beer, I usually get quite excited myself. Um, so let's give this one a, a go. Okay, it's got a lovely glug on it. Completely pitch black. As you can see. Really, really dark head. It's a very small head, but really, really dark. Um, there's nothing coming through that whatsoever. Let's see if we can get a nose on it. Wow, it's it, it's very strange. It doesn't smell like um, I was expecting it to. Definitely getting um, chocolate and coffee, big time. But there's almost like um, some sort of fruit that's pushing through, like a dark fruit, like um, a plum or um, some sort of hedgerow fruit. Um, slightly astringent, not too, you know, over the top, but just like sort of weeding its way through that... Um, coffee and chocolate yeah it's definitely there it's definitely a fruit there but other than that it's not the most pungent smell um, maybe I've not got the right glass for it um, beer geeks out there is that the right one <laughs> I know Rob was getting a lot of noses but he's I think he's got a bit more of a, a highly attuned sense of smell than me but yeah I'm getting the Coffee and chocolate, getting a fruit note. Not much more than that, so I'm just going to give it a go. Uh, Johan, thank you so much. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Oh wow, that is really chocolatey. There's definitely something in it. I don't know what it is. It just tastes like a fruit. <laughs> when it hits your tongue, you get, you know, proper, gorgeous, thick milk chocolate. Um, roasted coffee, a lovely earthiness coming through it as well. But there's this sweetness which is worming its way through through the whole of it, just making it taste really unique and original. Um, let me have a look at those descriptions again, because maybe it's on there. Um, thick fudge like body, yeah. It's thick, very thick body, pitch black colour, yeah. Chocolate coffee, it just says dark fruits. Um, Muscovado sugar, that's probably what it could be. Um, that's probably what it is, the Muscovado sugar. I know um, Terry K, Beer Goggles, um, picks up that flavour a lot. I don't think I've had Muscovado sugar, so... But if it's like a fruity sweetness, then that's what it is. This is really, really good. 
twelve percent, and it's and it hasn't got massive alcohol hits either. Mmm. Oh god, that is so good. The more you drink it, it's just oh, the, the flavors start to increase. That fruit, it's it's oh, you can almost taste the stem of it. It is like a plum or a. It is. It's like a, a dark, dark sort of juicy plum, and you're tasting the core as well as the flesh and the skin. Um, not overly sweet though, but you just know it's there, and then it's just um, engulfed by this coffee and chocolate bitterness, um, which is so nice. The sweetness um, is not over the top at all. It's just lovely and balanced and smooth. And then you get this gorgeous bitterness at the end, which isn't over the top, but just lovely and level. God, this is so good. Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> I love that fruit at the beginning, it is so nice. Wow, I can see why Rob went a bit mental over this one. I've never tried anything from Evil Twin, it's the first beer I've ever tried from them. And this, if this is anything to go by then, they're definitely a brewery I need to start looking into. Um, wow, 10 out of 10, easily for the even more Jesus from Evil Twin. If you love your big Imperial Stouts, big, thick, gloopy body, gorgeous coffee, chocolate notes, dark fruit, that sweetness, oh, this will be right up your alley. Um, wow, Johan, thank you very, very much. It's a beautiful, beautiful beer. And... Um, and uh, I'm going to go and sit and enjoy the rest of that and watch uh, the new Evil Dead movie. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon for an Urban Viking Hour review. Cheers.